Welcome to Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, a continuation from earlier, the coming of the Son of Man. We went into the two parables of the virgins and the talents, the last two sections, but now it changes in verse 31, and I added the heading right here, the coming of the Son of Man, a continuation. The number that we will be featuring is number 1391, glory. And the verbs will be highlighted in purple. It begins in verse 31. Oten they elthi o eos to anthropu in te doxi of tu, whenever the Son of Man should come in his glory. The glory uh, that Jesus will have, it says, Ke pontus e agii angeli met of tu, and all the holy angels with him. Tote kathisi epi thronon doxi of tu. Then he will sit upon the throne of his glory. Uh, glory is used, this word, 1391, uh, f- over 439 times in the Apostolic Bible. Generally has something to do with something greatly apparent, this wonderful, magnificent. Light is uh, generally attributed somehow to this experience. The cosmos has a glory. It says the glory of the kingdoms of the earth in Matthew 4, 8. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, 40, but another indeed is the glory of the heavenlies and another is the ones of the earthly. And another glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for the star from star differs in glory. So the idea here is more of the light the glory shining. Revelation 21, 23, it says, And the city, that is the new Jerusalem, has not a need of the sun nor of the moon, that they should shine forth in her. For the glory of the God gives her light, and her lamp is the Lamb. So again, the light and the lamp is the glory that's sort of attached to the glory of God. But man has a glory to himself, which says that about Solomon and all robed in his glory of magnificent clothes in Matthew 6, 29. But it says in Romans 3, 23, for all sinned and lack the glory of God. So the glory of God is not the same as the glory of man or the glory of the cosmos. When Moses went up to Mount Sinai, it's he, his face shone, talks about that in 2 Corinthians 3, 7. And then uh, in 2 Corinthians 3, 18, it says, but we with uncovered face are reflecting the glory of the Lord. Moses had to cover his face because it was so bright, people couldn't see it. And we are going to have something like that with us. There's a glory to the assembly. It says in Ephesians 3.21, to him be the glory in the assembly in Christ Jesus. There's something glorious about the assembly of God. I went to assembly that was 3,000 people at one time. It was glorious. It was wonderful hearing all the people praising the Lord. Uh, it, It was just really an experience I'll never forget and I'll cherish. Believers, in John 17, 22, it says, And I have given to them the glory which you have given to me, that they should be one as we are one. So we are given a glory that uh, is of God. In Romans 8, 18, Paul says, For I consider that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory of about to be uncovered unto us. Now, that's the, the, the glory is not of the man, but it's, it's, it's going to affect man by seeing the glory of God. And then Jesus, the glory of our Lord. 
says in John 17, 5, And now you glorify me, O Father, with the glory of yourself, which I had with you before the world being in existence. So the glory of God being one with the Father, it says later here. And Matthew 16, 27, For the Son of Man is about to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. So these we're going to see angels. He's coming on a cloud. It will be a glorious sight to us believers, fearful to the ones that don't believe. It talks about Moses and Elijah appearing in glory with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration in Luke 9.31. And then in Matthew 19.28, uh, Jesus upon the throne of his glory. The throne is tied into this glory when we see it. Uh, he'll be coming in glory on the clouds of the heaven, Matthew 24, 30, in the glory of his Father, in Matthew 8, 38. In John 8, 54, Jesus said, it is, my, it is my Father glorifying me, whom you say that he is your God. He was glorified when Lazarus was raised from the dead. He was made manifest, apparent, that this is a powerful being that was able to raise somebody from the dead, as he did. The glory of God. Ezekiel 43, 2, it says, And behold, glory of the God of Israel came according to the way towards the east. This is in the, the last nine chapters of Ezekiel. In 43, 4 of Ezekiel, and the glory of the Lord entered into the house according to the way of the gate, looking according to the east. So this, the glory, Jesus, I believe, will be coming into the house. In Ezekiel 44, 4, he says, I beheld, and behold, the house of the Lord was full of glory of the Lord, and I fell upon my face. So all these are the glory. And going back to our text in verse 32, it says, Ke sinak thesate emprosthen aftu pantata ethni, and he will gather together before him all the nations, all the peoples of the earth. Ke afori aftus ap alilon, and will separate them from one another. Now, I don't think he's going to take the Italians and the English and the French. And I think he's talking about the people. Osper o pimin aphorizi ta provata apo ton erifon. As the shepherd separates the sheep from the kids of the goats. Now, I'm not a shepherd. I don't know exactly why what's happening. I don't think it means goats are bad and sheep are good. It's just that there is this shepherd separating them. That's the idea that Jesus is trying to get across to us. There's going to be a separation. Ke stisi ta men provata ek dexion, and he will set the sheep indeed at his right. Ta de arifia ex evonimon, and the little kids at his left. Tote eri o vasolefs tis ek dexion, then the king will say to the ones at his right, Devte e evologimeni, now there is a participle. Uh, a verbal adjective, to patros mu, come, O ones being blessed of my Father, on the ones on his right. The left is considered unlucky in biblical times. Inherit, clero no misate teen, etimazmenin, imin, vasilian, apo, to katavolis kosmu. Inherit, the kingdom being prepared for you from the founding of the world. So the founding of the world has this kingdom that's prepared for the believers, I believe, for us. In verse 35, he gives an explanation of why these people are chosen. He says, Epinasa gar, for I hungered, ke edokate me, fagin, and you gave to me to eat. Adipsisa, 
I thirsted, ke apotisate me, and you gave me a drink. Xenosimene, I was a stranger, ke sinigagete me, you brought me in. Gimnos, ke periavalite me, naked, and you clothed me. Is thenisa, ke episkepsas the me, I was sick and you visited me. All these things are what we are to do, Jesus is showing. In philaki emen ke ilthate pros me, I was in prison and you came to me. So all these are ministries that we see that are in the churches of feeding the homeless people and thirsting. I was a stranger, taking people in. The rescue mission I preached in years ago to, brought men in. Uh, naked and you clothed me, gave them clothes. Sick and you visited me. They're in the hospital and prison, came to visit me. Tote apokrithisomte avto idikei. Then the just ones will answer to him. Legonte saying, Kyrie? Pote say, Idomen pinonta. When did we see you hungering? Athrepsa men, and we nourished you. Idipsonta, or thirsting. Ke epotisa men, we gave you a drink. Tote they say, Idomen xenon. Ke sinigagon men. When, and did they hold you a stranger and brought you in? Egim known, ke perivalmon, and we clothed you, naked, and you clothed you. Tote they say, Edelman, when did we behold you sick? E and Philaki are in prison. Ke ilthoman prose, and we came to you. Ke apokrithis o vasilefs eri. And the king will say, Avtis to them, Amin, Lego we mean, I say to you, Ef Episate, Eni, Tuton, Ton Adelfon Mu, Ton Ilakiston, Emi, Episate. I say to you, and as much as you did to one of these, the least of my brothers, you did it to me. So God sees what we're doing, and we do these things to anyone we're doing it for him to him and then in 41 it says tote eri ke tis ex evonimon then he will say also to the ones that is left porevis the apamu go from me e kateramani is to peer to eonion to itimas menon to the avolo ke tis angelis of two O oh, ones being cursed into eternal fire, everlasting fire, having been prepared for the devil and his angels. So it was prepared from the big founding of the earth for this place, for these beings. But, but the unbelievers will experience this where the believers will not, I believe. And then he continues in 42, in the same vein as he did in with the believers earlier. Epina sagar, for I hungered, ke uk, edokate me, and you did not give to me fagin to eat. Edipsi sa, I thirsted, ke uk, epotisate me, you did not give me a drink. Xenosi mean, I was a stranger. Ke u sini gagate me, you did not bring me in. Gimnos, naked. Ke u periavalate me, you did not clothe me. Asthenis, ke in filaki, sick and in prison. Ke uk episkepsas the me, and you did not visit me. Tote apokrithisonte avto, ke of T, uh, they also, then they also will a- answer to him, Legonta saying, oh, Curie, Pote, say, evil men, Pinonta, hungry. When do we behold you hungering? E, the Psonta, or thirsting? E, Xeno, 
are stranger e gimnon or naked, e asthani or sick, or e in filaki or in prison, ke u the e koni summon, see, we did not serve to you. When did we not do that? Tote apokri thesate aftis, and then he will answer to them, the evil ones, legon, saying, Amen, Amen, lego amen, I say to you, F oson uk et piisate eni tuton ton elakiston, uh, as much as you did not do to one of the least of these. U they a me a piece a te. Not even to me did you do. Oh, what a condemnation. If you don't do it for the people that need help, their condemnation, what is it? K apelevson te uti is kolasin aeonion. And these will go forth unto aeonion kolasin, eternal Punishment. Boy, I don't want to be there. E the dikei is zoin eonion, but the just ones unto life eternal. We want to have life, so we need to do what Christ is pointing out, to take care of the least. And sometimes we think that you know, we don't want to deal with somebody that uh, looks like they could harm us because they're dressed dirty or they're laying in the streets and so forth. Well, sometimes it's not good. It may be dangerous, but we need to pray and ask the Lord if he would have us to go and reach out to them and do these things uh, that he says to feed them. Uh, Take them into your home if need be. And uh, all these things. And when we do that, we will have life eternal. The next Section chapter 26, Jesus foretells his death.